What's up guys, Max Maxworks here today and we're in the garage. We're gonna install this. This is a speed engineering intake for my 2009 GMC Sierra 2500 HD with a six liter engine. Uh, now this kit retails for around 120 bucks. I bought mine off of, uh, off of eBay and the truth is the eBay intake kits for the LS engines are just as good uh, as name brand, you know, AFE or whatever that costs four or five hundred dollars and you're not going to get any more performance out of them. Now this kit includes all the stuff that I would like to see as an engineer on a good intake. The first thing is you want a giant filter. The bigger the filter element, the better, especially for an open cone filter. You want all of the surface area. It does a really good job of uh, kind of stopping crud from getting in your engine but still gives it enough flow that it can breathe. Uh, it comes with a band clamp and a reducer, uh, so I believe this is three inches for the pipe. The next thing you always want to see in a good cold air intake is this. You want a giant mammoth drain pipe that basically runs from your filter to the inside of your engine. LS engines can flow a lot of air, the stock heads can flow a lot of air, and you really want a good solid three inch pipe. This one has this kind of black texture to it. It's pretty well made, it's aluminum. Uh, it comes with these uh, rubber boots. Generally in the past I've seen uh, silicon boots, so I'm a little disappointed with the, uh, the molded rubber, but there's not saying anything wrong with the molded rubber. Um, comes with an uh, adapter for the throttle body and then the tube itself. Now the tube includes a uh, vacuum port um, for the factory location as well as a factory location for your uh, manifold uh, air pressure sensor right here. Also this kit includes walls that build it uh, around so that it holds the cone filter in place and helps keep some of the heat of the engine bay out of it. Uh, it comes even with this which helps seal it up against the hood. This is a real piece of weather stripping. It's got a metal bracket in it so it should clip on pretty nicely. Things like this are usually pretty simple to install, but some of the Chinese ones require a little modification, and that's kind of the journey I'm gonna take you guys on today. While intakes like this, without a tune, I mean, you might see five horsepower at the rear wheels, maybe. Uh, usually they're just more about engine health, uh, it breathes a little bit easier, make a little bit more uh, torque, kind of under the curve, and mods like this uh, really work well together once, once we have our, uh, long tube headers and our full cap back and our tune, these things really help uh, those other mods, they all work together to bring a lot more power to the table as opposed to using the factory intake. So with that said, first thing we gotta do is we gotta get in the truck and we're gonna record a little clip of how the truck sounds with the factory stuff in it and then we're gonna yank it out and I'm gonna show you guys how to do all that. So here's the factory air box. Uh, this camera has the best microphone on it that I have. And so we're gonna fire this thing up and let you guys hear what it sounds like. Now the next step is to get all this stuff removed so we can install uh, our new intake. And the first thing you wanna do is just go ahead and pop off this engine cover and set it aside. It just clips right in. Now in general, you wanna do this when the engine is cold. Now the first step is to use a T25 Torx head and remove this cover. This is our air filter cover. Next step is to use a T15 hex to remove our MAF sensor. Well, looks like they really did replace the air filter. Now you wanna use an eight millimeter to undo these band clamps. Now you should be able to remove the air box lid, your filter, and there's another little hose right here. Pop that loose. And now you can remove this whole thing and this is a particle trap and this is a resonator of sorts and set all that aside. Now we can take a look at our throttle body. Not too dirty, not too clean either. We'll clean that out in a second. Now, you can see this just pops right out. And just like that, we got space for our new intake. Right, so the first step is to get this thing in. Uh, this actually fits quite nicely in here. 
As far as Chinese fitment goes, the only problem was this tab, this bolt right here. These are factory bolts. All, everything went together nicely except for this one. I had to get a, uh, a different bolt that I had that fit that thread, squeeze it down so it bent this metal right here a little bit. And now the factory bolt holds it fine and we got everything tightened down. That's right there. So now we can assemble uh, kind of the rest of the intake. And one of the big question marks is this intake is technically not for trucks with a mechanical fan. Uh, so we're probably gonna be on the hook for getting this thing uh, to fit properly. So there's two different ways to put this boot on. And I went ahead and put it on like this because this end is a little shorter and hopefully that's gonna help us clear everything just a little better. So. The other thing is you really have to uh, you have to use their screws uh, otherwise uh, the factory screws don't fit the threads all right so there we go easiest way is to put the filter on put this thing on the filter so it holds the filter in place run this pipe hook it all up this little thing has these little tabs on it so all you gotta do is just lift up on this it pops right off put this piece of hose on here hook our MAF sensor up you got to make sure you use the screws that come with it and then here's our little heat sealing you can see it goes on there pretty good so just run it all the way down it goes all the way up here perfect length piece so now let's get our tools moved off of here and fire it up and and see how she sounds intake install in conclusion uh, I think it's great I think the fit and finish is great it's actually better than a lot of previous eBay intakes I've used that have required you know grinding stuff and bigger bolts and whatnot here everything more or less bolted right in uh, driving down the road because we've done so much insulation on the truck driving down the road you don't you know cruising you don't really feel it uh, or hear it rather but when you get on the throttle uh, you now get a nice uh, nice V8 you know rumble coming out from under the hood definitely a little bit more uh, a little bit more noise coming in and it's a good kind of noise it sounds really throaty i like it uh whether or not there's actually any power increase is questionable like i said uh, the best cold air intakes on the dyno will show maybe 10 horsepower but like i said this will work with the other mods that we do to the truck to kind of bring the whole performance package uh together now the biggest advantage is probably going to be fuel economy you'll probably pick up maybe half a mile to the gallon uh, which in a truck that gets 10, 11, 12 miles to the gallon is, is helpful. And so uh, that's, that's all part of a plan. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you click the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Peace.